I'm standing here at uh, World Water Farm. It uh, could be a bit noisy. It's just after uh, the opening session. And I just wanted to share with you my first impressions of uh, today. Uh, we had an, uh, a long uh, day, but uh, I think also a quite uh, interesting one. A couple of things that uh, I picked up, of course, was uh, the sharing of uh, assessment reports uh, by the DG of uh, UNESCO. Uh, she delivered uh, the first report to the president of uh, Senegal. And also what was uh, shared here, what uh, interested me was that uh, the base in the Senegal won the Hassan II second prize because of their uh, say collaboration that they showed within uh, the, the, this river. And uh, the chair of the jury also called out that uh, he thinks that they should also win the Nobel Prize for the peace as they demonstrated in such a very nice way how you could collaborate over borders within uh, the same basin having different uh, reference uh, of such a river. And I think interesting here as well were uh, the talks that were presented uh, by uh, the president of uh, Ethiopia, also sharing her ideas about uh, what could be done in this collaboration along uh, the river and how the new dam could support not only Ethiopia, but also the other countries. So I think that's maybe a nice start of a further discussion that is urgently needed to solve more problems here. I would like to stress the fact that uh, groundwater was mentioned uh, quite a lot of times and I do hope that also in the sessions that you will have today that you will discuss uh, those sessions there. Over for now and uh, I wish you a very good day uh, at World Water Day in uh, 2022 and I hope to report uh, more things later on when I will uh, be at more events of the World Water Forum. All the best.